Okay, so Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Well, of course, you know it's the sequel to the original movie. And this time, the plot is... What is his name? Uh, Ricky, uh, Billy's uh, younger brother from the first movie, basically takes his brother's place as the newest killer in the Santa Claus outfit and goes on his killing spree. Now, there's just one little problem with that part. I just gave you like a 30 second explanation of the entire movie, right? Problem is, that's a whole nother hour into this movie. Cause you wanna know what they do for like the first 40 minutes? Is recap the entire first movie in 40 minutes. It took them 40 minutes to recap the entire first movie instead of doing what Back to the Future Part 2 did, even though that movie would not be out for another two years before this movie, I mean after this movie, was do it all in like a 30 seconds or three minutes. Three, 30 seconds to three minutes. 40 minutes of rewatching what I just watched four hours before. Wow. Just laziness right there. You could have had the whole fucking first 40 minutes of this movie being him trying to escape from the crazy house that he was locked up in. Because once he eventually escapes that, he's on his way to get Zack revenge on Mother Superior for the death of his, of his brother, which he, he witnessed when he was a boy. So, yeah. That's what the movie is about, but they went at the fucking beginning all fucking wrong. That whole recap of the first movie should not have been in this movie, and for that it will really hurt the grade of this movie because I still enjoyed the movie. I don't like that part. That was stupid. That was really, really stupid. That could have only took you three minutes. Less. Three minutes or less to get that out the way. But, when the killing does begin, it is awesome. Eric Freeman plays Ricky in this movie, and he is hilarious. Especially when he's going over the top on his lines, I love it. It is so fucking funny. Especially when he's going around killing everybody on this block. He's literally having a killing spree at that moment. And there's just a random man just taking out trash. What does he do? He holds up the gun and says, Garbage day! And shoots the man dead. That was so fucking hilarious. I, it's so unintentional funny. It's an unintentional comedy. And that's what I see it as. Because that actually kind of saved the aspect of the movie. Besides the kills. Which, he does kill people. A lot more brutal than his brother did. I mean, he literally has a guy up by one hand like he's fucking Jason Voorhees and stabs him with an umbrella all the way through to where his umbrella actually opens in the man's back. The fuck? And he's mortal. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I, I fucking love it. He's a fucking mortal. He's acting like he's Jason. The, the, the strength is weird. Where is he getting the fucking strength? It's not even explained. And I like it. I, it's... it's it, <laughs> it was such a cool kill, though. <laughs> I can't even get mad at it. Such a cool kill, though, man. Seriously. It takes him about an hour and 17 minutes just to put the fucking Santa costume on. That should have took at least, that should have been the next 40 minutes after trying to get the whole explanation out the way. If you would have did it my way, that would have, that should have been right after the 40 minute mark. He should have had that suit on, killing everybody. But at least he put it on. He didn't have the beard, but at least he had the suit on. And going to, going to kill Mother Superior, trying to kill Mother Superior, as I should say, who's... Since the orphanage is now closed, she lives alone. Her face is all badly scarred up on her left side. 
Don't know what happened, but yeah, she's not looking very well. The lady from Sister Margaret also returns in this movie. She doesn't really have much to do in this movie, but she does return. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, all that that whole expo exposition really hurt this movie for me. But I like this movie still. It should have been a lot better because they should have trimmed that part out. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking about doing that. It's barely Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. It's like Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1.5 or something like that. It's like what Back to the Future 2 was. Back to the Future 2 was Back to the Future 1.5. Which also hurt that great for me for that movie. I still liked it. But now that I'm older, that was kind of lazy. Pretty much. So... That first 40 minutes was laziness. And that's what I'm going to treat it as. And that's why I'm going to give Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 a C+. Let me know what you guys think about Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I am about 20 minutes into Part 3 already. But I decided to get this one out the way as well. See you guys then.